Let's not get too used to this, but get a good look at it because hopefully by the end of this video, I will have some drugstore products approved to give bond repair and an excellent wash and go that lasts me. But what's new? If you are new, what's good? I'm Mel, your main girl. I'm a professional hairstylist. I've been creating content on this channel for nearly five years. We've done a lot of drugstore reviews and this one for you is going to be completely cruelty free. Also, these products happen to be made in Canada. Canadian curlies represent, okay? If I show you the outdoors, it is a winter wonderland? No, it looks like hell froze over. It's disgusting and I hate it here, but we're gonna digress and we're gonna get into this. Our Anthony products are extremely popular drugstore products here in Canada. These products are made in Canada. Let me know if you have tried them below, but this is brand new. I haven't seen anyone do a review, so I wanted to try it out for myself. And I picked up some products from Cake Beauty. A lot of you have been asking for a cake review, so I'm gonna bring it to you. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the repair line on only one half of my head and style the whole head with Cake Beauty to see if the side that I use the shampoo, conditioner, mask, and leave-in conditioner from the Repair Bond line will actually make a difference. And I have got quite a bit to review here. Will the cake give me a stomach ache or a, a hair ache? A hair day ache, even just a headache. Will the Repair Bond give me the strength of a steak? There's only one way to find out. Let's get to it. Please, I need to wash this hair. All right, so we are going to dissect and taste the recipes here. I'm for soaking down the hair and I am sick as heck. So I just hope that I can smell these properly. We're starting with Mark Anthony. This is the Repair Bond Plus Rescue Plex <sighs> Daily Care Shampoo. I can smell it! And I can smell it! Wow, this smells like a luxury shampoo that I've tried before, but let's see how it performs. So far, it is foaming up super well. Take a look at that lather in between my hands. As I apply it to my strands, it's definitely emulsifying. This was actually super easy to distribute throughout my hair. It feels very concentrated, and it claims to do quite a lot. So this is blended with the Repair Bond Plus Rescue Plex Complex, which is a blend of rice bran oil, rosemary oil, hydrolyzed quinoa, and vitamin C. This is supposed to reinforce weak, dry, dull, damaged hair from the inside out by repairing damaged hair bonds caused by color, chemicals, damage, heat styling, pollution, you name it. But it makes all of these claims with a little asterisk that this is going to work if you use the entire system, which I'm trying. Apparently after one use, I can expect 90% improvement in breakage. I rinse this all out and I do two shampoos because I wanna see how it really will cleanse. You should almost always be double cleansing. You'll get a much better idea of how the shampoo works on your hair because the first cleanse it's working on removing a lot of buildup and you should always notice a lot more foaming. I use a small tiny amount for this and it seemed to work really well. After rinsing, my hair felt nice. It felt cleansed but not dry. Now let's try a piece of the pie. We have the cake shampoo on the other hand, other hairs. This is for the curl girls. Now, I don't like how gendered this hairline is, but I digress. This is supposed to be a curl enhancing shampoo. Um, you know, I'm not sure how a shampoo is supposed to enhance, but when we take a look at the ingredients, or rather first impressions, oh, the smell. The smell! <sighs> It is so interesting. It smells sweet, but it also smells fresh. There's like a, a gingeriness to it. It's like there's ginger. It reminds me of the ginger beer. Like I'm having a Moscow mule, but it's like a New Jersey mule because it's cake boss. I don't know. It's it's giving it's giving foam. Okay. The experience was very similar to the Mark Anthony one. The shampoo still produced a nice creamy lather. It was easy to distribute throughout the hair, but as a side-by-side, -side, it is feeling a little inferior. I've got color rinsing out. What the fuck color is rinsing out? When did I even last color my hair? I think I used a color mask a couple washes ago. That's going down the drain. Their key hero ingredients are aloe leaf juice, sunflower seed oil, and argan oil. But when you actually take a look at the ingredient list, these are listed quite low. So they're mostly just in there to say that they're there. Otherwise, the base of this shampoo, the first few ingredients are nearly identical to the Repair Bond. They feel pretty comparable, but I feel like the Repair Bond feels better. <laughs> it feels like just as clean, but it doesn't feel as dry. And I think I enjoy shampooing a little bit more. With this side. Now let's get into conditioning. This is the daily care conditioner and I quote, for all hair types, it reinforces from the inside out, protects, 
hydrates and smooths. This is it's thick, very nice. so it is going to coat the hair. It's got shea butter, which we know is a pretty heavy ingredient, but also isn't great for slip. This conditioner was not quite doing it. No matter how much I tried to work it, add more water, detangle from the ends, it was just making my life difficult. Maybe that's just for me, but it definitely wasn't doing anything. I actually couldn't finish detangling, but I do have the concentrated hydrating mask. Who bought and returned this? Still dry. Still dry. Now I touched the product. What in the world? Also for all hair types, reinforces hair from the inside out. This deeply repairs, smooths, and softens. It's a very different type of formula. That's half missing. I'm gonna do my best to look past that. Inside the jar, it is a much more hydrating formula as opposed to buttery. It feels lighter as opposed to heavy. And a lot more silky, oh. And sure enough, in the ingredient list, even though they are listed low, it does have amodimethicone and dimethicone. These are great silicones to help provide a lot of slip to the hair, as well as shine to high porosity and damage dull hair. My hair just eats these up. I let it marinate for three to five minutes while I moved on to the cake for dessert. Definitely hoping for a better experience. This is the Curl Next Door. Totally to die for curl enhancing conditioner for moisture restoring, frizz defying, and rich hydration. Right off the bat, I liked this conditioner a lot more than the Repair Bond conditioner. Just as some first impressions. It has a really beautiful silky feel, detangled my hair well. And sure enough, it does have silicone. So although this is a curl conditioner, it isn't necessarily curly girl method friendly, which is not something that we look for. We look for efficacy. And from what I can see and feel in this first application, this is a good conditioner. It does have a very sweet smell, however, although it's yummy, it is a little bit stronger. I feel like the conditioner is a little strong. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, it might be a bit much. Now what happens when I rinse both sides? I don't know, they're feeling pretty comparable, but let's see how styling goes for me. All right, let's continue with the prep. When I say continue with the prep, I mean shampoo and conditioner is a huge step in your hair care routine and so far, I mean, I don't wanna to speak too quickly, but I feel like we are set up for some success, but I digress. We'll get into that a little bit more in a bit. Let's try. This is the only leave-in product from the Marc Anthony line. It's the Repair and Protect Leave-In Treatment for all hair types. As I discussed in the shower, it being for all hair types didn't necessarily cater to my curls, but let's see if this reinforces from the inside out hydrates and defrizzes. Of course, a line catered towards bonding damaged hair, they're gonna be targeting frizz. And in the ingredients, I am seeing a lot of emollients. This actually provides heat protection up to 450 degrees and it says it reduces color fade. Protecting your hair from heat will reduce color fade. So that's an easy claim, but let's see if it gives the strength. I'm gonna spray it on my hands. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I really want to apply these evenly. That's what it looks like. It looks light. It feels light. It's got some slip. It's got the same smell as the shampoo conditioner. And I, I can't remember what, I think it's like a JVN line and like a L'Oreal, but a luxurious L'Oreal, like a Kerastase. Like it's, the, that is the vibe that the smell is giving me. So it smells really luxury. It smells really nice. Let me grab my brush. And by the way, this was the hair from the shower. Not too much. This is, you have to keep in mind, after already detangling probably this much from my hair yesterday. So twice this for I think nine days I went without shampooing. That can be expected. Can be scary, but nothing to be afraid of. So I'm gonna put my towel around me because, well, I've already, I'm already lactating. It's, it's a bit late, a bit late for that mail. You know what, I'm just trying to redecorate this shirt since I wore it in a video just a couple ones back. Free. I just feel like it's my coloring. This feels great so far. Effortless. I want to do a two. It's hard to spray with one hand like that. If this is a product you're going to be using for heat protection purposes, you do want to be really thorough with it. So apply it in those sections. Yeah, that feels nice. We're going to compare it to the Cake Natural Lux Beauty, the main manager. I like that. Totally to die for three-in-one leave-in conditioner. What is the three-to-one? 
Seriously Softening Strand Reviving Moisture Maven. This triple action formula is a post shower leave-in, daily moisturizer, and style refresher. So maybe we'll come back to this even later on in the wash day to refresh if need be. But we're gonna go in one, two, three, four, five, six. It's already thicker in consistency. This actually isn't part of their curly hair line, so that's pretty thick for, you know, it doesn't really say who it's for. It actually feels lighter, like it doesn't feel as serum-y. When I say that, I mean it doesn't have as much of like that beautiful silicone silkiness to it. All right, I'm gonna pull up a second brush so I don't contaminate. Contaminate? Guys, I'm congested, I'm so sorry. So I don't contaminate nothing. I really wanna see if the repair bomb side will do any repairing, if we see that in the curl pattern at the end of this video. Feels fine, I mean, I don't know if it's totally to die for. It doesn't have that much slip. I can feel it on the hair, but not in like a super silky way. It does feel a little bit heavy. Anyways, now that we're done prepping, we can get into phase two, styling. The rest of this review is using Cake Beauty. We have there, the Curl Friend, totally to die for, Curl Cream, frizz fighting, curl defining, with glossy silk styling, with avocado oil, soybean oil, and shea butter. Now, I don't personally use a lot of products with heavy butters in them because I have fine to medium hair. But that doesn't mean I can't necessarily make this work for me. First, let's see the texture before I continue speaking. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a nice little like lotion. It doesn't look too thick. Oh, but she feels rich. Oh, this is rich. Super, super silky. All the cake products, you know what? It does have a little bit. It is like a cake batter, but it's refreshing. It's like a citrusy, and I, maybe that's why I'm feeling gingery, but it's it might, be, it might just be lemon. It's a lemon tart. That's what it is. Totally to die for. That's what's totally to die for so far. Both lines, divine. Okay, let's go in. Now, I'm definitely feeling like this Savvy Styler is wrapping each tendril in a veil of silky moisture for glossy, defined, frizz-free curls. I'm feeling that so far, but I'm not feeling like using this on its own, which it says, you know, after applying air dry or blow dry with the diffuser, I don't think I could use this as a one and done at all. Just going in with the cream is gonna be super softening for the hair, but it won't give me a longevity in my style. Inevitably, it will start to frizz, which is why we almost always need a gel or a mousse. I kind of picked up two. We have the Curl Whip, totally to die for, so part of the same line, Whipped Curl Mousse. This is for big curl boosting, defrizz, defining, bold, but no sticky, no crunch. Was that English? Maybe it was the way I read it. With aloe vera and vitamin E acetate. Now it does have one of my favorite film forming complexes, which is polyquaternarium 11, which I love using in humidity. It's both conditioning, but it also helps to provide some nice hold. Mind you, light hold. I'm not seeing a lot of other film forming ingredients that might give me some fortitude. And I mean, they are saying, give your hair invisible hold. Invisible hold as in there is no hold. Stay tuned to find out. We also have the Thick Trick. Now this is actually a volumizing styling foam. It's totally to die for. TM, not TM, but the Thick Trick is TM. And it's with pomegranate, green tea, and ginseng. I wanna smell this. It says this airy dream foam will smooth and plump for jacked up styles with refined shine. I want both of these in my hair at the same time. I'm gonna use this at the roots. Nice, nice. Lemon tarts. Lemon tarts all around. Notice how when I'm putting products near my roots, I'm still not putting them on my scalp. Never putting styling products on my scalp. Let's hope that kind of fluffs up the root a little bit. I'm going to define my curls as I always do with my brush styling technique for ribbon curls. All right, this camera's gonna freaking die and I'm gonna die. We're gonna squeeze in some of this really quickly. Please don't die on me. Totally to die for. Since this is a mousse and an aerosol can, we do gotta shake it up and shake it up good and well and shake like whipped cream. Let's hope this is the cherry on top. Ooh. I almost just wanted to keep that going because satisfying. That's a bit of a generous amount. Hello, hello. This is a 
foam. Oh, this is like the ones I used to use in high school. Super duper creamy, eamy. Now this is a lot of mousse, so I'm not gonna keep all of this on my hair. I'm gonna wipe the rest off of my hands. And I'm going to use my Amanda microfiber towel to finish scrunching all of this out. Okay, honestly, the hair does look totally to die for. It feels, it feels like I have aloe vera in it. You know that flash dry feel of aloe vera that happens? If you don't know what I'm talking about, we did a whole video on it. Anyways, that's okay because I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna go diffuse off camera and come back. All right, so these are the freshly diffused results. This is what it's giving. This is the crunch factor. There is a little crunch in there, which is good. For reference, I diffused on medium heat, not high heat like I usually do, because the Cake Beauty 3-in-1 Leave-In does not have heat protection. So I did medium heat, but full speed on my Dyson, hover diffusing and scrunching, because I wanted to see the bounce. I really wanted to give it the opportunity to help give me some volume you but this is looking very controlled very controlled but also out of control I will deal with you we are now going to finish the routine which is usually using a hair serum that is how me someone with high porosity usually likes to finish off my wash days to kind of lock everything in but a lot of the products that we used in this routine are very moisturizing and I feel if I just very softly start to scrunch out this crunch, I feel like a lot of softness already, which is just a little concerning, not because soft hair is a bad thing, but because I need this to last me. So let's scrunch this out. Okay, and there we are without using an oil, although I did try to buy Cakes the Gloss Boss, which is apparently a drugstore beauty winner. And somebody's buying it because I couldn't get my hands on it. It sold out on Amazon and my order on Walmart got canceled. So that was frustrating. But very interesting, it's a dry styling oil with high alcohol. What we know as drying alcohols like alcohol denat and isopropyl alcohol is that they're not always bad in a formula. A lot of the times they're in there to help with penetration to help with the fluidity of the product, just to make it easier. It's a solvent, it's in there for a reason a lot of the times when it's in there. And when it's low on the ingredient list, it's not something that I worry about. But alcohol denot is actually the second ingredient. But again, I don't have it, so if you have tried it, let me know how it goes. And we're gonna keep things moving along with the hairspray. I've had a lot of like Gen X and millennials talk to me about hairspray and say, why don't any curly girls use hairspray? And well, you wanna use the right hairspray, this is actually a working hairspray. What does that mean? It's touchable, it's brushable. You can still work with your hair after spraying. So it's not a complete setting, finishing hairspray. And that's what I want for my curls because I want them to be nice and flexible. But I do need a little extra hold here. So let's try it out. Do I need to shake it? I just need to spray it. It has abscinian oil and vitamin E. We're gonna spray it on one side only. Okay, yeah, it's not sticky. This feels like just what my hair needed. So now that we have finished, we'll take a good close look and see actually if Mark Anthony did anything. I don't know. So far, my hair is looking chunky, juicy, happy on both sides. Let's see what happens with an update in a couple days, as well as my final thoughts and review of these. This is my day four update. Let me catch you up to speed. In between this week, I have been working out as I've been doing. <laughs> this is new for me. I'm trying to do that more regularly. I've had to go outside, do some shoveling. So the hair has seen, it's seen some things. I'm gonna go ahead and share my findings. Not just me, but I'm gonna call over my C's. She didn't see me while I was styling, so let's see what her outside opinion thinks. When we started this review, we wanted to see if the repair bond from Mark Anthony would actually make a difference, and if we could actually just find a solid new drugstore routine to try. The shower experience was a real roller coaster. It started off pretty high with the shampoo. The first impressions experience was very pleasant, but I do have a bit of an issue with shampoos and conditioners that are targeted towards hair care because people are already neglecting the care of their scalp. And so when you specifically have scalp issues, I do not recommend getting a shampoo or conditioner that targets the hair, the ends of your hair, because this is a rinse off product. So while you will get some minor benefits, and yes, this is formulated to be 
pH balanced and be gentle on the hair that is damaged. I would not have this as the only shampoo in my routine just so that I'm not neglecting my scalp or even the ends of my hair that would need clarifying. But honestly, I say that about every shampoo. I don't think you should put all your eggs into one basket. I think you should kind of wash your hair depending on how it feels, what it feels like it needs. You shouldn't rely on just one sole product to wash your hair. But I think this is a good option to alternate if you have really damaged hair. This was, this, it was nice. I enjoyed the experience, smell. It's got some of those nice ingredients decently high up on the list. You know, the rice bran oil, rosemary oil, vitamin E, and then of course their Rescue Plex and other vegetable proteins. But if you're specifically using this for repair, then you're gonna have to use the whole system, which I was not necessarily in favor of. This conditioner did nothing for me. If you have finer hair that maybe isn't as tangly, it could work, but there was no slip. I was not able to detangle anything with it. So this did not impress me whatsoever. They are very lucky that they had this concentrated hydrating mask. It did redeem things for me, okay? This can, th I, I don't know if I can return this stuff. I'll just give it away, it's fine. And this, this I would absolutely keep on using. Again, it has those key ingredients. It's got the Rescue Plex. It also has the rosemary oil and all these fancy oils, but it's got amylodimethicone and dimethicone, which is so good if you have high porosity, color treated hair, damaged hair, realistically, that's who's buying these. You know, you're not gonna buy this line if you don't have damaged hair. And so for the right consumer, I think this is beautiful. I did really like it. I don't know if this was previously used because again, it was like, it's halfway empty. Who bought and returned this? Now I touched the product. What in the world? It's looking halfway empty. So that, that part was concerning, but if, if I just see past that, and think about my experience with it. I did really like it. I would recommend this. And the smell, how does this smell? Well, that's that's fragrant, but I like the smell of it. It's really nice, but Isn't it's it very fragrant. Yeah, it's very luxury for a drugstore. Right, doesn't it smell? I can't remember, I can't think of what line it reminds me of. Definitely feels, it smells more like a luxury hair care line. Maybe like a Kerastaz, maybe. I, I did say Kerastaz, I said Kerastaz and also a little bit JVN. Now the last Mark Anthony Repair Wand product that we use that we could compare to the Cake Leave-In Conditioner I think really showcased the differences between the two lines because these are definitely both very different formulas. I would say that the Repair Bond is more of a hydrating and strengthening formula. So it's quite lightweight and also again very strengthening. It's got the same key ingredients throughout the line, which means at this point, four products in, my hair has got a lot of protein. And as we could feel, I mean, Amanda said it herself. Touch my hair. Soft, not soft. This is definitely softer. Would you say so? I think so. This side is not quite as soft. Whereas this one from Cake, the three-in-one, totally to die for leave-in conditioner, <gasps> Some of these names are a mouthful. This one was a lot more emollient with key ingredients like coconut oil and dimethicone and amodimethicone in the formula. This just gave more of that slippery, moisturized feel to my hair to protect it while also containing some proteins. You know, it's got the rice and soy proteins in here as well. So I would say that this formula is a little bit more balanced compared to the Repair Bond. I would probably reach for this one again. I honestly think that this is approved, unless I'm using heat. And in that case, I am gonna say the Repair Bond. Now, before we keep jumping into this Cake Beauty review, let's jump back for a second to talk about the shampoo. Not, I mean, I think it said it on my face. Not too impressive. This didn't really do anything for me in general. I mean, I, I said it. I don't like finding shampoos and conditioners or shampoo specifically for your hair. And the fact that this is for your curl, like a curl enhancing shampoo, that's just not necessary. This was nothing to write home about, but the conditioner, it was better. It was better than the Repair Bond conditioner and it was better than my experience with the shampoo. So as a conditioner, I liked it, but it still didn't wow me. If you're not gonna be buying the shampoo and conditioner, is it worth getting any of these, honestly? I don't, I don't know, I don't, eh. All right, let's continue with the stylers. As Amanda said, do the sides look different? The curls are 
more defined here than on this side. You got a little bit more frizz going on. But overall, I feel like your hair has been weighed down all week. It's There's no party. Back. There is no partying back here. No, it's like really flat. As Amanda said, my hair was, is very soft, but also very not voluminous, not voluminous. No, I look like I have a flat top. It is really bad here. It's really bad. It's really affecting me and my self-esteem right now, I'm not gonna lie. What is this, honey? No, it's traumatizing. Needless to say, it was a little bit heavy for me and also didn't quite give me the longevity. Now, does my hair look bad? Absolutely not. It looks, it looks very pretty, but this would not have lasted me had I not used something for finishing which we'll get to. Like, listen, I'm gonna be straight up with you. As a friend, I don't trust you, especially hanging out just with you, okay? Like, if we're gonna be at a group, maybe, but I would totally not die for this curl-defining cream. This is something I don't feel like the hair needs, especially if you are using a leave-in conditioner, which is not as easy to skip. I would prefer using this over the curl cream because both of these have moisturizing, emollient, and protein ingredients. So they're both very balanced formulas, but the totally to die for leave-in is gonna be lighter weight, it's easy to apply because of the spray, and it also doesn't have glycerin in the formula until later on in the list. So I would personally reach for this a lot more in humidity as opposed to using this curl cream. In general, if there's a lot of humidity, you should absolutely be using more of a gel than cream. Or a mousse. Now, mousse, is that a Canadian pun? They have a little mousse on the packaging. I think it's cute. But is it totally to die for? I focus the thick trick on the roots. And most of the time when I'm using a volumizing product like this, that is supposed to be strand thickening for go so big styling, never ever sticky. It's not sticky, I'll give you that. But I don't feel like it, it helped to thicken my strands. It definitely didn't help me much with the volume and I wouldn't use this on its own either, like as a foam styling. This just didn't really do anything for me. And the curl whip, they weren't kidding when they said soft to the touch. It was too soft for my touch. If I didn't have such a ringlet in my hair that gives natural hold because of the way it's, it's structured. Okay, so if I had more of a wavy pattern, this would definitely not give my hair any sort of hold that I would need for longevity. A little crunch doesn't have to be scary because you can always scrunch it out with a hair oil or whatever you're finishing with. So I would prefer to have more hold than this did. I just, it, it didn't do anything for me either. So unfortunately, for these reasons, I am out. I would rather hold out for the hold out. This is the totally to die for, oh, again, Bit of an exaggeration, don't know if I would die for it. But this Flexi Hold hairspray, I think this is a really nice drugstore hairspray. I actually want to use it right now to see if I can tame some of this root frizz flyaways that I've got going on. I'm gonna put some hairspray on my hand. And again, this one, it's got that sweet sugary smell. So keep that in mind, like, although they're not too overpowering, if that's just not your taste, taste, <laughs> taste, pun intended, then you're probably not gonna like cake. But, okay, I'm just gonna, I don't know how to describe this movement that I'm doing. It's it's like a smooth and tuck. I think that's much better. That is much better. And I know this definitely helped my hair hold much better. If I didn't finish my routine with this, then God help me. So I, I have to give the credit where it is due. And I do hope to empower you to know that having a little alcohol in a formula, which this does, is not necessarily a bad thing, when your hair is super healthy, when you're using a super moisturizing routine, or you have hair that is super, super soft, overly moisturized, doesn't hold the style well, I wouldn't be too wary about these types of ingredients in your routine because they're gonna help you get more longevity out of your routine. But again, I mean, this isn't necessarily for curly hair styling. I think this in general could be used even if you were to blow out your hair, straighten it, it feels nice, it smells nice, it doesn't leave it sticky. I like it, I would reach for this again. Okay, so okay which, well thank you so much for... So which side's which? I would assume, if I were to guess, I would hope that this is the bond side mm -hmm. and that's the cake side. Am I right? Am I wrong? You're correct. And There's so, a slight difference. You are seeing a slight difference. The curls held their shape better. More, better retention. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to my review. Thank you so much for your input as an outsider. <laughs>
that, my friends, concludes today's review. That was a lot, but I hope that it helped you. If you did like this review, let me know by giving it a thumbs up so I know to do more drugstore reviews. I am looking for product reviews that I can do overseas. So I'm talking to my European curlies. I know there's a lot of you. Please let me know if there's a specific line that you would like me to review and I'm gonna try to get it in Canada so I can share that with you. So drop some lines in the comment section below as well as your questions. It's time for the question of the day, answering a question that was on our last YouTube video. I like this question, it comes from Julie and it's actually a twofold question. And as a reminder, if you didn't see last week's video, we talked about hair oils, which have become a very controversial topic in the curly hair community whether you should be using them or not. Julie specifically is asking, does gray hair need more oil? Here's the kicker. Gray hair is different from white hair. You may notice once you start to go gray, those gray hairs coming out are very coarse. They can be very resistant and wiry. Those hairs actually contain more keratin. They can have a thicker cuticle layer and therefore are more resistant, typically coarser and lower porosity and wouldn't really need more oil. So I answer no for gray hair, but for white hair, which is different. White hair is past the gray hair phase. Now the hair has become completely white. It's also super fine. This hair is much more absorbent and more fragile. So using penetrating oils like coconut oil could help to keep the strength. Just remember that it might be a little bit heavy on super fine hair, but definitely beneficial. I hope that answers your first part of the question. You also asked, should you change up your hair products even though you found a routine that hits it out of the park every time because influencers are saying that you should be changing up your routine? This is what I'll tell you. If your hair changes, that's when you need to change your routine. So if you've recently colored, it's become really damaged over the summer, or it's become really healthy because you chopped up all your damage, you're gonna notice that the products that you were using may not work for you the same. And the other thing is if you live in a climate that varies, all right, I have four seasons, how about you? If that's the case, then you might need to kind of change things up a little bit. But otherwise, go ahead and use the same routine. Just make sure that in between washes, you are clarifying. That way you can make sure that there's no buildup of the same ingredients on your hair constantly, 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 constantly layering. And that's, that's the model for everything. All right, well, that's all for today's video. I hope you like today's drugstore routine. If you wanna check out these products, I'll put the links to them in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. This has been Yamane Gromel, and I am out. Peace. Whoa, what's good everybody? Don't mind. My hair or the echo in here. Is that bad? Is this bad? Is that better? You look alive. Put some gloss on. I look dead. I'm I'm sick. I've been sick. Excuse me. Yay! It's the month of love, baby. It's the month of love. The lighting in this video is probably not. It's it changed a lot. I'm not gonna complain about the sun. It's made an appearance, you know, twice this year so far, so <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm just gonna enjoy it while it's here. I'm not gonna lie. It's, yeah, it's probably not great. It hasn't been great, but get excited, okay? This, guys, we made, we made a big business purchase. We bought the camera, like we bought an expansive camera and our brother is like working out how to get it to work and hopefully we'll be filming with that for next week's video, so. The quality, quality's going up. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. I'm super excited for you guys to see the difference just from this video to the next one. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm sick in here. I'm sick in here, but I'm sick in here. And that's why we are looking like this. Can't explain why we're smelling like this. I actually can't smell. So it's like roses if you ask me. Or cherries. Just forget the little bit of makeup that I put on to look alive in the shower. Mascara gate. Disclaimer. Um, when the fuck did that happen? Don't tell me that the whole time I was filming I had these little speckles of, when did those appear? When did that happen? I don't know when or how that happened. If those are on while I went through that whole spiel, then just fucking, I don't know, just, I guess we're gonna have to deal. Fuck me.